So today we are going to be putting side by side the good old Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and my new knockoff dupe, whatever you guys want to call it, that sells on Wish for less than half the price. Hopefully it does not explode or burn my hair. So if you've had your eye on the Revlon but you couldn't afford it, well maybe this could be an alternative or maybe could be a waste of money. I don't know. My voice is kind of funny. I've been very sick the last couple of days so let's jump right into it because I have wet hair and it's freezing cold here. Hola, gente. What is up, my badass angels? Welcome to yet another video. For both the tools, you want to start with your hair not soaking wet. In my case, as I was waiting for the battery to charge, my hair started air drying, so it's kind of damp, and I think that's a good start point. Strangely enough, just by holding the two side by side, I would say the Revlon one is slightly heavier. This could be a good or a bad thing. Sometimes a higher weight equals higher power or higher quality of the materials, but sometimes that's not very good because your arms could get tired as you're blow drying. Another strange thing that I noticed is that actually the dupe has a like a better grip, at least for my hand size feels a little bit more comfortable which is a surprise for me honestly i must confess that my favorite one and i'm so sorry it's so gross it's full of hairs but my favorite one is the hot tools professional one step hair dryer which is made by the same company that makes the revlon one step it's just better it has a 24 karat gold surface but of course it's even more expensive than the revlon one step so I'm going to link the video where I compare the Revlon versus the Hot Tools so that you can look further into that. But I kind of feel that the dupe I got actually wants to emulate a little bit the aesthetic of this one. Of course, this is not 24 karat gold, so it doesn't. But I just wanted to mention that. Also, the grip is more similar to the Hot Tools one. So the rest looks very, very similar. Oh no, look. This one's more pointy where you can hold it. Possibly it's easier to create more tension, we'll see. And the other one, the dupe, clearly not. So we're gonna see how comfortable that makes it or uncomfortable. I guess you could use this to hold it, but it's a little bit shorter. So I'm not 100% sure how that is going to um, feel. Okay, so both have swirling cords. <laughs> and they are both operated from the base. So on the Revlon one, you have the off, then you have the cold setting, and then there's two more levels. On this one, there's like LED lights, so that's a difference. And you have off, low, middle, and high, so no cold setting. So here's the box of the Wish dupe. Here it says, of course, that this hair dryer replaces two different tools the round brush and the hair dryer which is true for both and that's what actually made the Revlon One Step famous. It's made in China. It has a lightweight design which I did mention it is lighter. It has a ceramic in here that kind of makes the heat uh, spread evenly. The bristles are actually very similar although say that they have a tourmaline surface. Can you guys hear this? So this is the sound of the Revlon. And this is the sound of, I don't know, it sounds like a different material. I cannot be 100% sure. So let's go ahead and start with the dupe. Hopefully it does not burn my hair or explode. I've had it around for a while and have not tested out since I got it. A cup's cord is pretty long as well, so I think that's a good thing. All right, let's see how this sounds. So here it's off. I set it to low. Now I'm gonna set it to middle. Listen to this sound. It's supposed to go low, middle, high. Listen to this. How come middle sounds less powerful than low? It doesn't make sense. Let's hear the high one. Honestly, it sounds like it actually has two levels, low and high, and they sound exactly the same, and then the middle one sounds like low to 
to me. Okay, I'm starting to have trust issues with this product. We'll see how it goes. Let's go with, hi. So that's one pass. I think it was okay. Um, not heating up like alarmingly. <laughs> it's not impossible to grab it from here. It's still not getting super hot, and, but it's not as comfortable as I remember this being. Just to make sure, let's black this in and do this side with the one step. Uh, let me show you the settings. Uh, first one is cold. Now uh, level one is kind of low. And now high. I'm gonna do high, just like the other one. This one kind of, you can tell the difference just by the sound of the engine, motor, whatever you call it. All right, so that's one pass. Um, where is it? Okay, so that's one pass with each one. It's interesting because this one is more comfortable because of the grip and because it is lighter. But this one, this one, the tip I like better for sure. It does make it more comfortable to hold and also to create the tension as I suspected. Also, seems like this one doesn't get as hot. Even though none of them burn, I think the tip of this one is slightly colder. This one seems to have dried the hair in just one pass a little bit faster. Of course, it's just one pass. The surface of this one, you can tell, it just makes it easier and more slippery when you're brushing through. So I like the surface of this one so far better. Okay, let's go ahead and fully dry both sections and try to shape the hair and see if we can get a similar result. You know that I want to be good for you. You know that I want to be good for you. I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad. Oh, can't you see? I'm just being weak. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? So a couple of things. This one weirdly gets noisier as you have it on. Honestly, I hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So the surface is rather cold. Um, amazing. And one thing I like to do with both of these is kind of go over like this kind of staying more at the root and then go under like so. So that I will do with both. I feel like it still needs a little bit more shaping. So let's do it one more time. I'm just being me. Mm. Okay, I think this side is done. Let's go ahead and use the original Revlon One Step on the other side. Sometimes we just collide in. And we keep on fighting, but we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying, but we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay All right, let me just come a little we got further Okay, so it's kind of strange because it took me a little bit longer, a few more passes to get this chunk of hair dry. Maybe I do have a little bit more hair than on this section. I'm not really 
100% sure. The side with the dupe looks a little bit frizzier than this other side, but I was able to shape it quite nicely. And funny enough, the surface of the Revlon One Step gets way, way hotter. Like we're talking this one barely got hot at all. I don't know why. And this one got really, really hot. This could be a good thing because of course, heat is going to help you shape the hair and it's going to help you tame a frizz but it can also be a little bit more damaging. Once again, the tip just gets slightly warm. And of course, as you use it more and more, it gets warmer and warmer. We'll see how that continues. And then as you use both tools, you do realize the difference in weight. So that's a plus where the dupe gets noisier and more annoying, especially when you're going through the chunk of hair kind of near your ear. It's kind of annoying. I mean, this one is no pleasure to hear, but still sounds a little bit better. So I'm gonna do both sides with one and the other, and then I'll meet you at the end of this video for my final conclusion. You're so wild. I'm not gonna fight it. Hypnotized. Stuck inside my mind because you gotta, you gotta be something undefined for me. You're so wild. I'm not gonna fight. Replay in my mind of you, things you wanna do to me. Replay in my mind of you and your intentions. You're gonna be my reputation. I'm not Here we go, side by side, we got really different results. I'm kind of surprised. This side looks and feels frizzier and drier, but it was faster to blow dry for some reason, and it kind of gave me a nice movement. I'm clearly not the perfect person, so I cannot be sure that I blow dried both sides exactly the same, but I think the difference is quite noticeable. This side is smoother, but has a little bit less movement, but I was still able to shape the hair into a nice C shape in the ends. This also feels more hydrated. I don't know if it has to do with the difference in the surface. Now, if you ask me um, what happened today here is not usually the case, but I don't think the dupe is worth it. Honestly, the Revlon One Step is not incredibly expensive when it comes to the hair dryer world, and I think it performed better, and it's definitely worth the extra money. Honestly, the only downside, besides it being a little bit pricier, the only downside is that it is heavier. Just because of the weird settings behavior, I question how durable it's going to be. As you blow dry the hair, the tip gets hotter, and hotter and hotter and you're way too close with your fingers to this side which is where all the hot air comes out so it's not comfortable at all and you have to imagine that i just blow dried half of my hair almost to the point where it felt like i was going to burn my fingers so imagine if i had done both sides with this one probably i should have to turn it off and wait for the tip to cool down a little bit and then finish with the other side so yeah so it's lighter, the grip is nicer, and it is cheaper, so I give it that for sure. So definitely the original one is a winner for me. Changed the game for many of us, and I personally believe that as much as possible we need to support companies that do that, as opposed to support companies that, you know, just go ahead and copy it. But that's just me. I know for a fact that the Hot Tools is even better than the Revlon one step of course it is a little bit pricier has a nicer grip an even longer tip to make it more comfortable 24 karat gold which i mean that has to cost a pretty penny right in this particular case i like the hot tools one the most expensive one in the first place uh, on second place the revlon and on third place 
the two. There you go. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you. Links to all these products are going to be in the description box below. Like and subscribe for more, and I will catch up with you all again on my next one. Ciao.